you must have seen many structures and figures around you like a cupboard, an almira, a football, a birthday cap, etc. Have you ever tried to visualize what exactly they are? So, uh, today we are going to study about these structures and these figures which generally go unnoticed. So now, firstly we are going to study about the two-dimensional figures or the plane figures uh, as the name indicates, it has just two dimensions. The length, the longer side is the length and the breadth is the shorter side. So, um, the pages of your notebook is a very good example of two dimensional figures. And uh, your tabletop, the front of your whiteboard and the various figures cut on a paper or on a cardboard like a uh, square, rectangle, triangle and circle. First we are going to study about the features of two dimensional figures. A square, it has four sides, all four sides are equal um, and it has four corners or we call it vertices. It has four vertices, opposite sides are parallel to each other. Next is a rectangle, the longer side is called the length, the shorter side is called the breadth and it also has four sides. Opposite sides are equal as well as parallel to each other. And it has four vertices as you can see it. Next is a triangle. It has three sides and three vertices. The sides may be equal or may not be equal according to the type of the triangle. Next is a circle. Can you see it has a curved side? So, um, just one curved side is there and we cannot see any sharp corners. So, it has no vertices. So, now uh, we have started about the two dimensional figures. Now, now, we move on to three dimensional figures. The three dimensional figures or the solid figures. As the name suggests uh, that they have three dimensions. One is length, the other is breadth. And the third is the thickness. This thickness is the added dimension that provides a solid mass to these three dimensional figures. And this thickness differentiates it from two dimensional figures. So now let us study about the three dimensional figures. And first we are going to study about the 3D figures which have plain surface only. So this is a cube. It all, all the sides you can see are plain. So let us see how many faces it has. Faces are, are the outer surface. 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 here and 1 here. So it has 6 faces. And where 2 faces meet. See this is, the, this is one face and this is the second face. This is the edge. Where 2 faces are meeting is the edge. So it has... 12 edges. A cube has a 12 edges and the vertices are the pointed corners. So let's count how many corners it has, how many vertices? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 on the top and 4 below. So it has 8 vertices and the favorite examples of this is your favorite toy Rubik Magic Cube as well as the King of Board Game Dice. So now we move on to the second which is a cuboid. So it's quite similar to a cube just that every face is a rectangle here. So it has six faces, one, two, three, four, one on the top, one below. And the edges are 12 where two faces are meeting and the pointed corners are the vertices. So it has eight vertices, four on the top, four below. Okay, and now uh, anything uh, you come across is a cuboid, like a duster in your class, your pencil boxes, even this box is a cuboid. See uh, how it has the thickness and length and width. Okay, and now we move on to the cone. Uh, now we are going to study about the three dimensional figures which have the curved surface as well as the plane surface. See, this is a cone. Uh, the below side is 
having a flat surface. Can you see that this has a flat surface? So this is the plane surface of the cone and this is the round surface which is called as the curved surface. So a cone has two faces, one curved and one plane. So and this is the vertex, the pointed edge and where two faces meet, the rim of this is called the edge. And the very frequently used examples are the birthday cap and the ice cream cone. Okay, and now we move on to a cylinder. See, the top is flat and the bottom is also flat. So it has two flat surfaces or plane surfaces and this thing is the curved surface. So it has three surfaces in all, one, two, three. And it doesn't, you can, uh, can you see any pointed corner? No. So it has no vertices and uh, on the top, this is the edge where this face and the top face are, uh, faces are meeting and the below also the edges. So it has three faces, two edges and no vertices. Um, tube, candle, chalk, the cell, your water bottles and the catch, salt container and pepper container all are frequently used examples of a cuboid. There are some interesting facts about these three dimensional figures. Uh, these three dimensional figures can be fully stuffed from inside. They can be solid mass like this Rubik magic cube but a solid from inside. Or um, like uh, an ice cream cone if you stuff ice cream in it. Also the three dimensional figures can be hollow from inside like a shoe box. This is hollow from inside like your crayon box and you can stuff it with crayons and other things right and the second very interesting thing would be um, your milkman uh, carries milk in milk cans right and those cans are cylindrical in shape but they are hollow from inside and um, uh, no we people have to guess how much of milk it can contain so that means we have come to the point that three dimensional figures are associated with volume or capacity. How much capacity of milk or liquid it can contain. Okay. After cylinder, uh, this three dimensional figure has just the curved surface, no plane surfaces there. This is a sphere, it is, see it has just the round surface. So it has one round surface, so one face and there are no pointed corners, so no edges and no vertices. And the examples are your football and your crazy ball or uh, your orange. Whatever we have started today, we are going to do with the uh, method of experimentation. This is a cube, right? I have made it with straws and clays. Now to study the various its faces, its edges and its vertices, we are going to do one experiment. See, if we dip this in soapy solution which I have prepared, so can you just see the bubble has come? That is the face. Okay, that is the face of the cube. That is the face of the cube. We get all the faces of a cube. And we get on this, that means on six sides, we get this bubble is formed on six sides. Those six are the faces of the cube. And as you see, these white straws, they are 12 in number. So these are the edges. And wherever I have used red clay, those are the vertices of the cube. Okay, just see. Okay, understood? The bubbles are the faces, straws are the edges and this red clay are the vertices of the cube. Okay, this is, we have uh, not learnt of this figure. This is a square pyramid. This is called as a square pyramid. Now see, 
I am going to dip it in the soapy solution. And then we take it out. Okay, now see the bubble has been formed on the faces. All the faces are now covered with the bubble, right? So it has five faces and if you, if you just count the number of straws that are used here, they are eight in number and the clay pieces are again five. So it has five faces, eight edges and five vertices. This is a triangular pyramid which I am going to teach you today. Again, we are going to put it in the soapy solution to study about its faces, vertices and edges. Okay, this is the triangular pyramid and now we have dipped it in the soapy solution and can you see the formation of bubble on all the sides of this um, figure. And see there is a depression inside is also formed, it is uh, and the edges wherever the straws are there those are the edges where two faces are meeting and the clay pieces are the vertices. So it has four, it has four faces, uh, six um, edges and four vertices. We recap whatever we have started today. Um, so we just see these are the two dimensional figures. Uh, this is the square, number of sides 4, number of vertices 4 and then a rectangle. Again 4 sides, 4 vertices, a triangle, 3 sides, 3 vertices and a circle has just one curved side and 0 vertices and pentagon is something new for you which has five sides and five vertices. Hexagon is again new for you. Six sides and six vertices. These two figures you are going to read, you are going to study in your higher classes. And this is, these are the three dimensional figures. Um, this is first is the cube. It has six faces, twelve edges, eight vertices. And cuboid also has the same, 6 faces, 12 edges, 8 vertices, a cone has 2 faces, 1 edges and 1 vertice, uh, a cylinder has 3 faces, 2 edges and 0 vertex and a sphere has 1 face, 0 edge and 0 vertex and this was the new figure which I taught you, square pyramid uh, had 5 faces, 8 edges and 5 vertices. And this is the triangular pyramid, four faces, six edges and four vertices. And this is the assignment for you. Your assignment for you, this is the art of making a cube. I have provided you with six faces of a cube. As we count from the top, one, two, three, four, five and six. This is the art of paper folding. And you have to make a cube out of it. Thank you.